Hey guys, so today I want to talk about Network Attached Storage, or NAS for short. We're going to be using the Silverstone CS381 case to build a Network Attached Storage. I'm going to tell you guys the benefits of having this type of storage solution, and we're also going to compare it against the Synology NAS type products. So stay tuned and let's get started. <music> Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Thank you for joining me for another video. If you like my content, smash that like button. Remember to subscribe. So I have here behind me the Silverstone CS381. Now this is a PC case, but it's not a gaming PC case as we're used to seeing. This is gonna be a NAS case or a network attached storage. Now you guys may be familiar with something like Synology, which is a pretty popular NAS. Let me just give you a quick simple rundown of basically what a NAS is and what it does. Cause I know when I was getting into it at first, it can be a little bit overwhelming. There's so much information. So basically look at it this way. Way. You have files you want to back up and a NAS allows you to back it up in sort of like a system or a network attached storage. Let me give you an easy example. Let's say if you have a large CD collection, for example, like I do, I collect a lot of music. That's why it's classical technology. I have a lot of classical music. I listen to other things as well, you know, jazz and modern music, but I've amassed a pretty big collection on CD, you know, before everything digital and streaming became cool. I had a lot of CDs. So what's the best way to get those CDs into your home pretty much without having to deal with hundreds of little CDs everywhere. Well, basically what I did is every CD that I owned, I burned it to my computer and now I try to use the highest bit rate and quality possible. And of course, this means it's going to take up a lot of room. And of course, you could simply leave it on your computer as an attached hard drive or even on your main drive, but you're not really going to have any way to really access it. So what a NAS is going to do, think of it as like an external hard drive. You have, let's say, a few hard drives full of music. Now, it's not only your backup solution, but you could technically use a program like FreeNAS or something like that in order to be able to access those files in your home network. For example, there are applications, you know, FreeNAS has them, Synology has them as well, where it's gonna put all your music into a database. So basically, maybe from like an app on your phone or something like that, you could go on and access your music. And if you have something like Sonos or some type of network attached music solution, in your home, you could play all your CDs that's coming out of your NAS because they're now in like a central database and it's easier to use. It's basically like your own personal cloud system. Now today we're mostly going to talk about some hardware options as the software side of NAS does get pretty complicated and would require multiple videos. But for now, let's talk about building a NAS in something like the Silverstone CS381. Now, originally I do have the Synology NAS and the one I have only fits two hard drives. Now these can be a little expensive. They range from hundreds of dollars to thousands of dollars, depending how much room you actually want to have. And generally these are going to come with their own RAM and processing power hour, but you do have to add your hard drives. And now you're going to be stuck with whatever system you have, like Synology, you have to use their software and whatever specs they give you. Now, if you build your own in something like the Silverstone CS381, of course, you're going to have that initial upfront cost of actually putting the system together. You're going to have to put an ITX motherboard in there, a processor, some RAM. You can even throw in the GPU in there, or if you have a motherboard like a Z390 that has a built-in GPU or some of the Ryzen like 3200G or something like that should be more than enough processing power and you may not even really need a built-in GPU because you're basically just storing files and functioning with your hard drive. So the advantages of building in something like the Silverstone case, it's gonna be really customizable. You can put whatever type of software you want on it. You can even run it as a regular computer. And yes, you can even run it like a gaming computer. You can throw in a 2060 or a 2080 in there. And in case you didn't necessarily 
necessarily want to run something like a NAS software, you can build in this case like a regular computer and treat all of the hard drives just like attached hard drives in Windows. That way you wouldn't have to worry about running some type of software and you could actually use this like a regular computer. But for our discussion today, building a NAS in the system is going to be great. If you buy the Synology like I did that only has two hard drives, you're kind of going to be limited by that. But this Silverstone case, you can fit a massive amount of hard drives. So you can start with two. And as your storage fills up, you can add more in the future and just adjust that in your NAS software. Not to mention that you still have a fully running PC and you can upgrade it as necessary as you would with anything else. And you're going to have total control over whatever software you install here, as well as whatever the hardware configuration is. I think in the long run, you definitely would save money and it's going to be a lot more flexible. And it's definitely a really cool project undertake. Compared to something like using an off-the-shelf Synology NAS system, this, of course, you're going to have to actually build the system. You're going to have to put the hard drives in, install free NAS. Everything is fairly easy. I mean, there are multiple resources on the internet for actually installing the free NAS or something like that, so it's not too difficult. The benefit is after you go through this, you're generally going to be pretty knowledgeable about how the system works. The Synology NAS, while it is fairly easy to use, there are a lot of different apps on it, a lot of different options. It takes you a little while. It has a bit of a learning curve before you figure out which programs work best, how to best utilize it. So you're not really tinkering with it as much. So I think if you actually build your own like this, just like with a gaming computer or something like that, even though it's going to be a steeper learning curve at first, when you reach the end of that curve, like a lot of stuff we do on this channel, like water cooling and things of that nature, you're going to be basically an expert on running the NAS because you put it together yourself. You have to do the research. So it is a little bit more work, but in the end, I think it's going to be worth it as that's knowledge you can use. And then it's going to be pretty easy from that point forward. One big advantage of building your own NAS in the Silverstone CS381 is just going to be the future expandability. In the long term, it's going to be a lot cheaper. If you have to buy a Synology NAS with like eight hard drives or something like that, it's going to be pretty expensive. And like I said, you're going to be more limited by that system. This, you can start with two hard drives, just keep adding on. And overall, I think it's going to be much cheaper in the long term to build something like this. Not to mention that it's going to be a lot more customizable and give you a lot more control over the system. So basically to summarize, the main difference between something like a network attached storage and something like having hard drives on your computer and just like transferring files over in Windows or dragging and dropping is that this is going to be on your network. That means that it's like your personal cloud system. You can back up up multiple files to it automatically. You can have different apps just backing up from your computer. You can even install like a surveillance video system where everything gets backed up to the hard drive. You can have your music and movies like a Plex server or something like that on it. So that means anywhere you are in your home, you can actually access it. If you have CDs and you burn them, like we mentioned before, you can actually access your whole collection. So it's almost like it's physically there in your network. So that's going to be the main difference between just backing stuff up to your your hard drive on your computer, where the only way to really access that is if you go on the computer itself or attach another computer to it or something like that. You're not gonna really gonna be able to use apps as easily. That's why a network attached storage can get really, really useful. And of course, it's a little bit nerdy and geeky to actually have a NAS. It's not something that maybe a new user would have. That's why building something like that in the Silverstone CS381 is even more interesting because I think the type of person that's gonna build a NAS anyway may be really interested in actually tinkering with the system and putting it together themselves. While maybe somebody who doesn't want to do as much work and just have something that works out of the box will go with something like a Synology NAS and that's fine. I just think this is going to be a little bit more interesting solution for those of us that like to tinker and it's going to give us generally a lot better performance for our dollar in terms of what we're backing up. And a few notes on the case itself. Like all the other Silverstone cases, build quality is really impressive. Everything is really nicely thought out. I love the way you open the front panel. There's a little key thing for you to close it. You can have all your hard drives. Everything's very easy to pull out. Um, you have more than enough room to build a nice system inside of it. So like with everything Silverstone does, it's really high quality and very well thought out. And it's a real pleasure to use and build in. And it's definitely something you can keep for years and years and just keep upgrading. That's going to be another benefit over something like a Synology NAS is that this is going to be much more upgradable as technology improves 
improves and processors get cheaper, hard drives get cheaper. In the future, you can just upgrade as much as you want and you're not gonna be as limited by something that has something built in where you can't really tinker with it like a Synology NAS. So this is gonna be a lot more flexible. Stay tuned for more content on this Silverstone CS381 case. I'm gonna be using it pretty much as my main storage solution. And as I sort of use it and build it, I'm gonna do videos in the future showing you guys my experience with it. I'm actually moving from using the Synology NAS to moving to using something like this full time. And I think it's gonna be a lot more flexible and give me a lot better solutions. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, leave a comment below. Have you built a NAS or a network attached storage in your home? And I'll see you guys on the next video.